Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and you are watching to the new video of the MKR developer channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to implement this bottom navigation view or bottom navigation bar. Here we have three buttons and by pressing each of them we will be redirected to a fragment just like this. And if you want you can add more items into it up to five and the result will be like that here we have five items and it's just like this let's do it together okay let's start with the layout design uh, here uh, in the main activity we need this uh, navig bottom navigation view but first of all uh, we need the resources for this okay here in the project view always when we need a resource file we are coming here and uh, doing right click and creating it but today I am going to show you how to use resource manager First of all, I need uh, some icons and here in the drawbell, I've added these five different icons and I'm going to show you how to add a vector in the resource manager. Just come to drawbell, uh, press this plus and here you have the vector asset. Go to the vectors, search for your vector select it press ok and it will be added here uh, and in the old fashioned way we used to go to the rubble folder right click new and vector asset so resource manager is better and uh, other materials are here for example now i need a menu i'm going to click on the menu and here plus menu resource file and I'm going to call it nav underscore menu. Okay, pressing OK. And here is my menu file. I'm going to close it. We are into the design. We need this menu item, three dots. I'm going to add one. The second, the third. For now it's enough, let's go to the code. Uh, the first title can be home, the second one, hotel, third one, ticket, okay, and we need some IDs for them. okay and now icons for the first one i see home and for this one icon hotel and for this one ticket okay yeah that's cool let's go to the activity underscore main and here or maybe through the palette here i'm going to search for nav and here i have it bottom navigation view i'm going to drag and drop it here connect it to the constraint and set them to zero zero and zero let's go to the codes uh, here the v can be match parent and the height wrap content okay here just like this 
then we need to set the menu on it so i'm going to write the menu and here app menu and this one navigation menu okay now you see our items are here but the colors are the default color so here as the background i'm going to use color gray by the way here in the color resource folder i've added these colors yellow and gray and to add the color just like this press plus color value and here you can uh, choose or make any color that you want and okay and just name it just like red and okay and it will be added here so i'm using this yellow and this gray for this project okay color gray the background and the item i content yellow and item text color again yellow and that's good uh, let's check it on the emulator okay here we have our menu with the uh, icons and now i'm going to add two more items here just to show you something i'm going to copy these two and paste them here the id can be dt underscore map the name map and i see map and for this one let me check i had home hotel map restaurant okay let's do it. and let's check it on the emulator to see the difference as you see here only the first item has the title and other items only uh, having these uh, icons and i'm clicking on the items and the title will be appearing so it's just like that by the standard of the uh, android system if you have more than three items only the item that you clicked has the title so if i uh, cut these two last items and three remains again the titles will be appearing just like this okay i'm going to leave these new items as well here and uh, in the layout everything is okay so let's go further here in the project view, I'm going to go to the Java and right click new fragment, blank fragment, and I'm going to call it home fragment. To make the video shorter, I'm going to add only these three fragments and the rest based on your project, you can uh, add as much as you want. So the fragment ticket here, I have a text view and in the codes, I'm going to change this to constraint layout. And 
mistakes view should be wrap content wrap content and i'm going to drag and drop it to the middle of the screen okay take size 24 speed and the text itself should be ticket fragment okay the same for the rest of the fragment layouts here in the main activity instead of this text view I need a frame layout we need an ID for this frame layout and I'm going to call it fl underscore wrapper okay let's go to the main activity to make everything functional here we have to initialize the widgets first Then here I'm going to create a method and I'm going to call it uh, set fragment. And I'm going to pass this home fragment into it. And we have to create this function here and fragment fragment okay here we have to check the id of the uh, item that is clicked on the bottom navigation view so for this navigation view dot set on the functions that people used to uh, use them in the applications was this one uh, set on navigation item selected this area. and as you see it's deprecated so we are going to use this item selected listener instead of it and here then I'm going to use this it dot item ID passing through and now checking the ids r dot id dot home then we are going to set this um, home fragment to this uh, function and uh, for the r dot id dot 
hotel again the same as the home set fragment and we are passing the hotel fragment and uh, dot id dot ticket set fragment and ticket fragment sorry here i made a mistake hotel okay and here support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot uh, apply and uh, replace r dot id dot fl wrapper with the right and this fragment is this one and the fragment that we passed here and here commit and that's it let's check it on the emulator Okay, as you see by default, we are in the home fragment and when I'm pressing the ticket, we will go to the ticket fragment and hotel, we are in the hotel fragment and for the rest, we didn't create uh, any uh, fragment. So here, if you want, you can also uh, check the IDs or that ID that for example restaurant and show a toast and let's check it again okay by default we are in the home fragment and i'm pressing the restaurant and restaurant selected and for the others we are having the fragments and that was everything about this video if you are satisfied of this uh, content and you want to financially support me you can click on the link down below in the description and uh, buy me a coffee thank you if you find this video interesting, please remember to share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please write down in the comment box below and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. Remember to subscribe to the channel for new videos. Have a good time. See you in next videos. Bye bye.